Hello everyone, this is an announcement for my multi-part Gladio V series starting on Sunday, July 28. Over a decade ago, despite multiple government secrecy orders and state secrets privilege provocations, I was the first person, the only one, to expose Operation Gladio V and introduce the world to the continuation of CIA NATO clandestine operations in creating synthetic terrorism in target nations after the collapse of the Soviet Union. Operation Gladio B was a switch from using CIA NATO created communism clad terror cells, Gladio A, to using Islam Muslims clad terror cells with the purpose of containing competing powers, Russia and China and ruling the court of public opinion around the world in perceiving a common enemy, aka Islamic terror. From the creation of Al-Qaeda and ISIS, to the utilization of Russia's Chechens and China's Uyghur minority militants, CIA and NATO, via proxy nations such as Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Turkey, Egypt, and the UAE, have been operating non-stop to establish and spread their terrorism web in order to maintain and expand their global dominance and distract and weaken their top competitors, Russia and China. But, yes, there is a but. In the last few years, Russia and China, with calculated action plans, clever safeguards, and through new strategic alliances, including those formerly CIA NATO proxy nations, have been dealing one blow after another to Operation Gladio B. In this multi-part series, I'll be talking about Putin's victory in the Russia-Chechen conflict that was fortified and directed by Operation Gladio B and proxy nations. A series of awe-inspiring, bold assassinations of Chechen leaders in Turkey, Sweden, and the UAE by Russian operatives. China's perfect timing in getting Turkey to switch camps on the Gladio B Xinjiang battlefront. With all these new shifting alliances, I'll be also talking about the possible new candidate nations for Gladio B proxy positions and more. The Gladio B series part one will be published on Sunday. That will be this Sunday on July 28. There will be at least eight episodes with historical context, flashbacks, and more. How often and how many episodes will I publish? Well, that depends on the level of interest and your support. This new series will be available only to my Newsbud community members. To become a member, click on the provided link in the show notes above and subscribe to Newsbud. For those of you who don't know about CIA NATO Operation Gladio B and not familiar with my past reports and interviews on this topic, I recommend that you read my best-selling book, The Lone Gladio. It's a fiction because it had to be. Both the Justice Department and the FBI would not let a single word in this book pass their pre-publication review. I'll tell you all about that in another episode. Meanwhile, reading this book is like taking a crash course on Operation Gladio B while having thrilling fun. That's right, you will be having fun. You can check the hundreds of reviews on Amazon sites. This book is available both as a book and ebook at Amazon. This is Sabelle Edmonds reporting for Newsbud from Turkey.